In this video, I will be going through the basic functions of a TI-89 calculator in preparation for its basic uses at a high school level. To clear your home screen, go to F6 by hitting second F1. Choose clear A through Z. This will clear values stored to these variables. Then repeat and choose new problem. The first thing you should know before starting is to make sure everything is in the right mode. Make sure your calculator is in radians or degrees depending on what you need to do. To find the derivative of a function, you will type in the D by hitting 2nd and the 8 key. For the next few examples, I will just use x to the 3rd, but any single variable function can be typed in its place. Let's start by typing D x cubed comma x because you are solving with respect to x. If you wanted the nth derivative, add a comma n, n being a whole number. I'll use 2 to find the second derivative of this function. To find the integral, you use the same process as finding a derivative, except you press second and the 7 key. To find definite integrals, you add a comma, a comma b, integrating from a to b. I'll use the integral of x cubed from 1 to 2. An easy and quick way to solve for x and y is to use the solve feature. For a single variable x, hit F2 and choose solve. Type in the equation. I'll use x plus 1 equals 2. Remember to add the comma x to solve for x. For two variables, press second and then home for custom and choose F3 for solve. Then choose the solve and for xy. Type in the two equations with the two unknowns, leaving a space next to the and. x plus y equals 5. Space and space. 2x plus 3 equals 5. There are a few tricks you should know before entering a timed exam. I'll show you some of them. In cases when you have to find accumulation, finding the parts of a graph that are above an axis and parts that are below are important. Most people use this method. They type in their equation. Let's just use sine x. Then they graph. Then they use the F5 intersection, and then they write down the number and retype it in as the part of the integral on the home screen. For example, they would do integral of sine x with respect to x from 0 to pi. The way I do it is like this. Go to the graph screen and find the point of intersection using F5 intersection method. Then, when you find the intersection point, the screen will show an xc value. Go back to the home screen and type in the integral of y1 x commas x comma 0 comma xc. The xc is the intersection point you found using the F5 method. The calculator remembers the number, so you don't have to type it in again. The y1 can be substituted for any equation that you use in the y equals editor. While using apps such as Notefolio, most people take a little longer time switching in between calculations and looking for formulas and notes. To go from Notefolio to Home, you just press Home. Easy. But to go from Home back to Notefolio, you can use second apps. This function allows you to switch between the last two used apps, whether it is Home, Notefolio, or Graphing, and so on. If anything goes wrong during graphing or calculating, hit On. This will tell the calculator to break or quit whatever process it is doing.